one. Well, here we go. I am going to do a little update to the bead maker um, application that I did. I think that was, gosh, it's been May 12th. Okay, well, I think I've pretty much prepped my FX45 for the bead maker. I have washed it with Dawn, I have clay barred it, and then I actually stripped it with alcohol and water. So it shouldn't have any wax left on it. I've always used Meguiar's um, Carnuba wax on all my cars. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna see, let's see how. It's pretty much, pretty much no beating at all. So a little bit of the soap residue coming off of it. it does not bead, so I'm not going to videotape myself putting bead maker on. It's pretty straightforward apparently. So I'm going to put it on and, and we'll see what it does. But you can see, it does not bead. Hardly any water repelling properties at all. Okay, all done, nice and shiny. Supposed to let it flash or cure for a little while. I think eight hours is optimal. I think the rain is gonna hold off. I had to do it outside because I've got other cars in the garage. I've got a, a Prowler and another 996 Porsche. But anyway, in about eight hours, I will give it the bead check. Sorry for the uh, weed eater noise in the background. Anyway, it went on really easily and it's shiny and it's what's weird is it appears that as it sits there and they say this in the video the shine gets deeper and deeper which I don't know if it's an optical illusion or not but it looks pretty good we shall see I guess the next test too after this will be how long does it last as opposed to carnauba wax and then I'll I'll drop it on the Porsche maybe or maybe that one or maybe the prowler. So the rain has moved in and the bead maker has been on the car overnight. And so it's had plenty of time to cure, but wow, what a difference from yesterday's no beading at all. Putting the bead maker on, it's pretty straightforward, apparently. So I'm gonna put it on and we'll see what it does. As you can see, it does not bead at all. And this is just the rain. I'm gonna add the hose to it just to Back. Here we go. I am going to do a little update to the bead maker um, application that I did. I think that was, gosh, it's been May 12th, around May 12th, that I actually put the stuff on the car. And this car sits outside all the time, and I have not washed it or done anything to it, not waxed or anything else. So it sits outside all the time and it stayed really clean. And I've driven in rain and, and all that and it seems to hold up pretty well. So I'm gonna give it a spray and see how this stuff has been holding up over time. You can see that there's a little, looks like a little bit of film of tree stuff and dirt and whatever else, but it still looks fairly clean. So, all right, here we go. Well, that seems to be holding up really well. Wow. I am, I'm impressed. That looks really good. And that's been since May 12th, and it's now July, almost the 12th, which is my birthday.
Well, so far this feed maker product is really great. And I have I bought the 16 ounce bottle, but I'm going to go ahead and I think it comes in a gallon size or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one because this is far better than wax to me. It keeps the car way cleaner. You don't get that waxy white buildup in the corners if you put too much on and no danger of it getting on your plastic parts and then having to come back with something like back to black from mothers i use that occasionally but won't be needing that anymore anyway very good i like it cheers Please like and subscribe and hit that little bell to get updates to new videos. I'm going to be heading to the beach, taking the uh, Porsche Carrera, I think, and doing a little video about the road trip.